Welcome back to another video of shed hunting 2023 with me, Emmett Enyart, and my channel, Extreme Element Outdoors. If this is your first time joining the channel, well, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button so you can uh, stick around for some of our other videos. We love deer hunting, shed hunting, and turkey hunting, and we do it all on a working class schedule. But uh, another thing to keep an eye on for the shed hunting videos is we do a giveaway shed in every video. This is going to be the giveaway shed for this video. Um, and basically it's at some point in the video and the first person who sees it and comments the correct time in the comment section Well, I'll pin their comment in the comment section. So their comment will be at the very top of the comment section And essentially that person will win this shed um, And a couple other accessories to go with it. You can see I have a shed tag here on it We make these and uh, we sell them in a variety of colors if you're looking to label some of your shed antlers But you don't want to write on them. I highly recommend visiting our website. I've got the link in the description below um, that's basically it for the intro here, so let's get into the video. Alright, here we go. Today is Sunday, February 26th. Hoping to have a little bit more luck today than we did yesterday. Heading out on a new farm. I got permission to shed hunt this year. I have to take a little break here. Little bro's wrestling at state. So I'm sitting here monitoring the matches. Hopefully he can do pretty well today. And then after this weekend, I'll have a shed hunting buddy. So. Looks like he's taking it to this kid. Hopefully he doesn't mess it up. Alright, we're on to the next farm. Hopefully uh, we can turn this luck around. This farm, I don't think it's been hit. Other than from us in February, which was pretty dang early. And there was a lot of deer still holding it then. So, um, I think that there's a good chance that, you know, there might be some, some stuff on the ground that we haven't found yet. Or that wasn't here when we were last year. And honestly, it's been about like 24 hours since I found a shed and walking some of the ground I've walked. It's really surprising actually. All right, we have finally broken the streak here. And I uh, came up, look at that, there is a shed. And that one definitely wasn't here last time. Oh yeah. She's fresh. Kind of a weird little three. No brow tine. Not even busted off, just no brow tine. Finally just came up on an absolute monster. You guys see this one. Wow. They don't get much better than that. Well, that one's last year's. So that's an easy one to miss. So I'm not blaming myself. I just came up on one here. Looks like a pretty old one. Yeah, that's old. All right, let's keep moving. Well, it's been a while since we found a shed and uh, just came up on this one right here. Uh, needed a refresher. It's kind of a neat little thing. Definitely this year's. Just got uh, word that Easton won his uh, state championship match, which is awesome. And I'm right after finding that out, I look up and I see a shed. This looks like it's gonna be the biggest one today. So let's go. It's not a monster, but man, everything feels good at this point. So right there. Now that's not the one I'm came in here after, obviously, but you know they're. Uh, should be a decent one around here somewhere, so we're gonna keep moving. I came up this ridge over here. Just walking down this. There's a fence line here on my right, but you can see there's one right here on the path. And uh, that appears to be this year's. Probably pretty lucky that we got it here this early. Being that, likely would be chewed on if not. Kind of a neat little antler. Today is Monday, March 6th. Took off work a little bit early today because 
I didn't get a chance to shed hunt this past weekend. We've been at the Deer Classic all weekend. Came back to work today. Then it was a perfect cloudy shed hunting day and I just couldn't get shed hunting out of my head. So took off a little bit early to come check a farm that I've actually already checked most of it this year. But I, I found a couple old ones. But I haven't really found that many fresh ones. There's just a couple of spots that I don't think are the best spots, but they're, they're just, I haven't hit them and I feel like I need, need to give them a chance. No shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, this isn't the giveaway shed. No kidding. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. I was about to film the giveaway shed. I was throwing it out in front of me here. So that's not gonna be the giveaway shed this week because I just threw the giveaway shed out there in front of me and there's actually a real shed right there. That's awesome. What are the chances of that? <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I thought that... Uh, the owner would have already checked it. Maybe it's dropped since he uh, walked it, but there's a shed. And you can't beat that, my friends. It's pretty fresh. All right, so that's not the giveaway shed, guys. I'm not counting that, but I think that's hilarious. Gosh. Well, it looks like I just I just seen the second one for a day. It's down here coming off this uh, north facing ridge. Down here right at the bottom. I kind of pulled up the binos. It almost looks like it's an old one. Look at that. So, look at how much he took off of his head right there. Pretty freaking gnarly. Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2023. Another day of shed hunting. You can hear it's raining. I'm sure you can hear that on the video right now. It's supposed to rain for a good majority of the day and eventually turn into snow, which I really hope it doesn't. This is a new farm. It looks really good in an aerial. I don't think that anybody else shed hunts it, but I could be completely wrong. One of those ones where you really just don't know what to expect. And if it's, it's possible that somebody else does shed hunt it, if they do, we might not have that good of a day. Or if they do, maybe they haven't hit it yet and then we will have a good day. But with just the sheer amount of ground that we have to walk here and how good it looks on an aerial, I think I'd be a little surprised if we don't actually find something. Alrighty. I gotta tell you what, I am extremely excited right now because like I've only been shed hunting this farm. I've, you know, I started walking about 45 minutes ago and I've just been thinking this is so good. There's a lot of sign. Now there's not a lot of food sources in the area, but the sign and the cover that this farm provides just looks fantastic. And it just like has me feeling like it's gonna be a great day. But I also, in the back of my head, I'm thinking this is too good not for somebody, for somebody else not to be shed hunting it. And so I was working my way around the edge here, kind of between the creek and the highway and uh, i can see a really nice shed and this one looks like it's old this is my first year shed hunting this farm but this one looks like it's last year's and it looks like a stud wow oh yeah well, that's a great thing to find you know an hour into walking this new farm because that one might not even be from last year that might be older than that but that was a great shed and it's old and it's times up and it's in a pretty easy spot to see so i would think that if there is somebody else who shed hunts this, you know, either they missed it, obviously, or, you know, maybe somebody else hasn't been shed hunting it. We're going to keep looking. That's really encouraging. This farm definitely doesn't get shed hunted that hard if it does, because I can tell you now after finding this one, if this farm gets shed hunted by anybody else, they're not very thorough because this is crazy. It's right on the field edge. I was coming in here to look back in this pocket. I can see one down in there. 
The only reason it caught my eye was because of how white those tines are. But that's right here off an of easy field edge. Even the most lazy shed hunters are gonna find. You know, especially if somebody brought an ATV or something in, that would that would be easy as all hell. But it's actually a nice one. Wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't think it was that big. Man, that's really encouraging. We got a lot, a lot of this farm left to hit yet. Here's a little bit more action. I actually found a leg out in that field that I walked the field edge of earlier. I wasn't really sure what the leg was from. This explains it. Kind of a weird looking spike. Now it's like all made at the end. Great, we just found that dead buck, but I came up here and this is obviously a tine, but it looks like it's a really old one and probably just broke off from a prior year. I'm gonna count it as a shed, but it's not really a shed, but I'm gonna count it. Wow, I just got done finding this tine, seriously right over there. And I came up around this corner here. Maybe this explains where that tine came from. That's pretty neat. You know, you can tell that that would have been a really good shed. I don't know how many years ago it would have been from, but I'm really, I'm really willing to bet that that tine came from that shed. So we've got some good stuff left to hit. I just hope that this uh, snow holds off. It Everything is soaked, but these type of days are the absolute that's the shed hunt. With the rain, it makes the timber floor darker, which is really good because then anything that's fresh is going to stand out even more. I think I just found the first fresh one of today. We just moved out of that thick stuff. We're now in like kind of the open timber. They stand out like a sore thumb in the open timber. Super exciting. That's the fourth one today. I was really worried that we were going to be late to this farm. I figured somebody else had to shed on it. I'm walking back to meet Emmy. I'm kind of taking a, not the best route for what I would expect the shed to be on, but there is one, another old one. This farm's dynamite. We're finding old ones everywhere. This is gonna be one of the best farms of the year for sure. Had to come back to the truck, backpack was starting to get full and I'm picking up a partner to help cover the, this ground. I think we're gonna find quite a few more. I'm pretty sure they're all old. Rain is starting to turn to snow, it's starting to get icy. And I uh, came down here, looked back in this bottom. You, know, you can see a dead buck right here. Um, that, that, Like a weird looking uh, six. Kind of an interesting spot for him to die, almost like where something that was wounded would die. Never like to find them, but I really don't have any history with these bucks. Emmy just called up and said she's got one. She's not too far from me. This uh, rain has definitely turned to snow now. Frustrating. Wasn't calling for that all week until last night. I was supposed to start snowing around four. All right, here it is. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. You get a picture of that one. See, it's like weird. Another unique one to add to the collection, huh? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's a goof. That's really weird. That's a goofy one. That's the first fresh one of the day on the field edge. I see. Good find. Well, we've gotten quite a bit of snow. There's so much snow that it's damn near useless because everything's blending right now. Oh, you okay? Okay. We're hitting a new farm that I just got permission to shed hunt this year. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm still wet from the first farm, so it's gonna be absolutely miserable getting out and getting wet again. But uh, once we start moving, it'll, I think it, I think we'll warm up. Farm looks pretty good. Looks like the majority of it's a bean field, but it's got a little bit of timber with some switchgrass on the edge. It has the potential to have something nice, I, I would think. But you know, 
I think that about a lot of places. So let's see what happens here on this new farm. All right, we've been walking the second farm for about 20 minutes. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of bean, it's got, most of it's bean field, but there's actually like a couple little fingers here that aren't that bad. And we are just coming up on this edge here. We can't go on the other side of this fence, but I was just looking to make sure that we couldn't on the, the app and uh, kick the shed. It was right here. So that's a fresh, that's a freshie right there. So hopefully we can find some more. Sun just came up. We've been at it about 30 minutes. And just came up on this beautiful fresh one right here. Right here in the kind of a thick timber. Absolutely perfect. Really nice one. Pretty dang fresh. It's got a little kicker on his G2. It's kind of a little thick guy. Perfect shed and perfect timing because otherwise the squirrels probably would have got him not too long from now. So hopefully we can match him up here been too long and we just came up on the second one of the day an old one it looks like but not having permission on this farm last year makes it uh, ooh man that would have been a good one to find last year man let's hope this deer's alive and that maybe he dropped his antlers close by this year just a good south facing slope right here that these deer are just coming down off of it's pretty thick and makes sense why a deer would want to be there Man, you gotta look at this. This is weird. Looks like a deadhead. Huh. Looks like it would've been a pretty nice one. But his one side was completely chewed off. Looks like it would've been a big eight. Huh. I'll be damned. I'm gonna count this as a shed. We were working the south facing slope here couple ridges real quick there's like bang 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 with some mature cedars on them pretty reasonable deer bedding and I was looking at them and I'm like well you know I'm gonna keep working the south facing ridge it opens up and I was actually hoping to do a little bit more of a thorough search once these cedars open up but on my way over I see this little guy and I actually thought it was bone because like there was another leaf I think it was this one it's like the same color right next to it and I thought it was a bone at first but Luckily I'm wrong, so chewed up pretty good, but it's this year's and it's another one towards the count. So we've been finding, I swear, it seems like this year's the year of a bunch of little ones. All right, well, it's been a while since we found anything hitting these south facing slopes, but it's so thick in some of the parts that I'm like on my hands and knees crawling through it. And I came up to this open spot, and there's a pretty interesting looking deadhead right here. Pretty unique, I'd say. Pretty old. It's gotta be from a while ago. Finally just came up on a big one here today. Or at least it looks like a big one, but the only reason I saw it is because there's a dark log right there, and you can see like the three tines coming up. Look at that. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yes. Real nice shed right there. Definitely this year. Super lucky to see it. This color blends in real well. These colored antlers. Even on a cloudy day like today. Hopefully we can find his other side, but this is so thick that that's going to be quite a task. Holy cow, I just found a monster. Oh my gosh. We just found this one like 30 or 40 yards that way. And I was coming through and it kind of opened up right here. There were some nice paths right here. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, like I look over here and I'm like, oh, there's a stick. And I look back, I'm like, no, wait, wait that, that's not a stick. That's a freaking monster shed. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a freaking 
monster. Oh my God, we're gonna spend the rest of the day looking for his other side, there's no doubt about it. We just found this one right here. And I was super excited about that one. And I came up and I saw that and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's gotta be a stick. It's not a stick, it's the freaking monster shed. Oh my God. I've never seen one like that before. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, I know which deer this is off of. I know exactly which deer it's off of. I've got a shed off of him from last year. Yeah. I got his match set from two years ago and I got one, one shed off of him from last year. I think it's the same size. I recognize him exactly because he had a big G2 last year. He was a five last year. He was a five. He had a big base right here, just like this. Easton and I found it under a cedar and then he had a short brow tine. I didn't even know he was still alive. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what deer it is. He blew up this year. I just shed hunt this farm. That's why I don't have cameras and I don't know if these deer make it. Uh, I found his match set, you know, 50 yards apart, about 500 yards as the crow flies from where I'm at right now, two years ago. And then I found his uh, single in the exact same area that never found the other side. I walked it, I walked that area so thorough this year and I was surprised I didn't find his sheds. And now I'm just kind of hitting the, the last little parts of this farm on my way out and my way back in an area I never would have thought that I'd find this shed, the shed off of the deer I want to find we find him that's crazy i was just telling easton last night i'm like i didn't find the sheds off of this deer yet this year and i was like maybe he's dead we're gonna do everything we can to find his other side that might be the biggest shed i've ever found maybe not i'll tell you what we'll score it tonight we'll find out definitely one that's definitely the most unique shed i've ever found truck i just stopped at the truck got my uh portable charger for my phone and then got some water because we were about to start looking for the other side of the big one I just found and look at that look at that right there just as we started looking come up on a little one and he lays out perfect here we're in a nice bedding area right now he lost a lot of his uh, matter right there but uh, we're in a good area we got a lot of ground to cover yet Well, we're in hot pursuit for that hammerhead shed. We've been looking about an hour now and was coming down this path right back here, working through some thick stuff because I'm getting right back to where we found the original one, which was like probably 30 yards that way, but I can see a shed right here, which is pretty cool because that means that's gonna be like the third shed. That actually looks more like last year's. Huh, I was about to say that's the third shed from this year that was dropped right here in this general vicinity, but this looks like it was last year's. Mr. Squirrel. Just wanna know where the big antler is. Still looking for the other side of that big one, but I did come up on this one. These antlers are gonna be pretty hard to see actually. I mean, I never complain about cloudy days, but when it gets this dark, Especially with like a chocolate antler, like that's probably gonna be pretty tough to see it. Ooh, look at that one. That is weird, weird, weird. Oh my gosh. That is really weird. I've never seen one like that. Man. That's an ugly thing. That is ugly, but that is cool. That is really cool. Just another unique one to add to the collection. We're in the process of trying to find the other side of Hammerhead. And I come up on a nice old one, man. We're in some really thick stuff right now. And if he's dropped in like the middle of this, he might be screwed. That's too bad. Holy shit! <laughs> what do you think about that? It's huge! 
You didn't find the other side? <laughs> no, I could have used some help. <laughs> I could have used some help, you two. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this week's video. A lot of good finds, like most weeks, but uh, the unique circumstance with this week was this awesome find off of this hammerhead shed, which is definitely a uh, pretty fitting name, I would say. Just an unreal shed, and um, I'm super excited I was able to find it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep uh, an eye out for the giveaway shed. I'm sure somebody's already found it by the time that you're seeing this, but uh, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when we drop more videos. We're still working towards our goal of 150 sheds this year. And guys, I wanted to show you one more thing. That's pretty cool. So I know that somebody's gonna say, oh, it's not the same shed, but I did find the shed that I found last year. Uh, I found it in a pile, but I did not find the match set from two years ago. It's somewhere deep in the pile right now. I will go and find those. And when I do find them, I'll get a picture of all of them together. You can see it on Instagram. I'll post it on Instagram. But this was the shed off a of hammerhead last year. And I can understand why some people are gonna be like, no, it's not. I completely understand why you would think it's not. But just knowing the deer that are in that area and there's no other deer that would resemble this deer, it has to be this deer. And if I'm wrong, that's absolutely nuts. I'm not going to say I'm 100% right, but there's a really good chance it is. So, uh, would love to find his other side. I already have done some extra looking, but just haven't had much luck. So, either way, I'm super excited that we were able to find that great shark of an antler, I guess. He definitely did make a big jump, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So cool.